All right, let's face it. This is absolutely the last thing on earth that I'd want to drink. All right, well, that was my review for uh, almost two-year-old Bud Light. Thank you for watching. Just kidding. Here we go. Dilly Dilly, that's right. Today we're going to be trying Bud Light, America's number one beer. With Hollywood blockbuster budgets and celebrity endorsements, it. it's no wonder why it's become so popular. But does it actually taste good? And what does it taste like after two years? Let's find out. Every bottle of Bud Light shares two things in common. Mediocre ingredients and a freshest before date. This one, from August 21st of 2018, sharing the same birthday as Usain Bolt. The only difference is this beer didn't go anywhere fast, as it sat around for almost two years. Alright, well let's grab one of these and crack it open. I wonder what it sounds like. It's only been holding its pressure back for two years. I'm sure it has a nice hiss. Let's find out. Nice and loud. I'm not surprised by that hiss after holding it back for two years. Well, all right, let's see what this beauty pours like. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like after two years. Starting off, nice light golden color, appearing fairly clear, building good head. Let's finish off with an aggressive pour. And there you go, about two fingers of head. Uh, carbonation seems to be fairly moderate and it looks looks very appealing for sitting in the shelf for uh, two years uh, good job there and now it's time for a taste test let's see what a two-year-old Bud Light tastes like by the way I'm drinking this warm uh, just for the full effect it doesn't taste like much um, it doesn't taste bad it doesn't taste off uh, like it's gone bad uh, But again, I am drinking this warm so the flavor isn't you know quite what I'm used to mostly everybody would drink this uh, At you know almost ice temperature at like 33 degrees um, And when whenever you drink it that cold it does numb your taste buds So you don't get the full effect of the flavor that is truly coming from the beer the aroma is very yeasty bread like Coming of Jesus. Is this not a bad beer when it's warm? Have you ever tried a warm Bud Light? Uh, but I'm gonna give this a Andy score of two out of five. Um, it's very aesthetically pleasing. It has not gone off. Um, do I recommend you drinking it? No. Um, are you gonna die if you do? Probably not. So, hey, if in the apocalypse you find a case of beer that's two years old, have at it, because you've probably had a bad time. But for an apocalypse beer that you found in somebody's home while, you know, rummaging for goods, hey, I'll take it. You know, if you dig deep enough in the flavor profile, I think there's a little dark chocolate in there. Uh, but it could just be an off flavor because this beer is two years old. Um, and the reason I had this six pack lying around was because it was gifted to me from a friend that was gifted to her and she didn't want it. So I was like, you know, beer is beer, times get rough, I'll have Bud Light. All right, let's face it, this is absolutely the last thing on earth that I'd want to drink. All right, well, there you have it. That's my taste test and review of two-year-old Bud Light. Was it good? Not really. Did it kill me? No. Did it make me sick? No. But hey, if you find this in somebody's basement at the end of the world, go ahead crack it open and have a beer because you probably deserve it and it's not going to kill you.